morning and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to make crepes, two different types, uh, a classic crepe with a corn flour and a vegan crepe with a corn flour. Both recipes are gluten free. I hope you'll stick with me through the demo. Let's talk about the ingredients we're going to use today. We have the granular egg corn that we process together in the processing with cold water method video. And I've been trying to think how you can get that at home into a flour state if you do not have a coffee mill or a spice mill. Now, if you have a small mill that grinds coffee beans or grinds spices into a nice fluffy powder, then you're, you're good to go. Use that for, your, for grinding your granular acorn into a, a fluffier flour. I do not have those mills. So I tried this um, multi-food processor thing and it got it down to a softer texture, but it's still not flour. But for the sake of experimentation today, I'm gonna to make a batch of crepes with this as well to see how it turns out. And then the other thing I did was I found a salt shaker that had, it had Himalayan salt in it before and it was finished and I opened up the top and I poured a bunch of the acorn grain into it and it actually mills it into a very nice fine powder. It's slow going, so this isn't really suitable for acorn recipes per se, but I'm gonna keep this in my kitchen because it's gonna be really useful for when I wanna use acorn for thickening sauces. And when you start using acorn flour for your thickening sauces, you will never go back to corn flour. It is so much tastier and so much more effective. It makes soups and gravies and sauces, everything thicker and with a much stronger um, sense of umami. It's a bit time consuming, but you can get a, you can get a couple of tablespoons like that, just out of, on the spur of the moment. But today for our recipes, we're going to be using uh, the acorn flour that I produce professionally. And this is milled with a very large pin mill. You can find a video about that as well here on the channel. So the first vegan batch, which is by far the most simple, is just acorn flour and water. Acorns like Chai seeds and um, linseed have a gelatinous quality to them. When you add them to water, um, rather than becoming a paste, they become more jelly-like. So we have one cup of acorn flour, and we're going to put in less water. And we're going to put a generous amount of sea salt in it. It really brings the flavor of the acorn out in savory crepes. We're going to bring, put some black pepper. And normally I would put some thyme or something um, something from my collection of dried herbs, but I'm trying to make a comparison between these three different recipes and see exactly um, taste-wise and texture-wise which ones I prefer. So I'm gonna keep it very plain today. So here we are, that's all this is, the vegan recipe, and this is going to sit for about 30 minutes so that the acorn flour can um, absorb, can be fully um, penetrated by the water. Acorn flour is quite hard as a flour and it takes some time to absorb 
oyster. So we're gonna let that sit. And now we'll make the classic crepe recipe. For that one, we're going to use half a cup of acorn flour, teaspoon of baking powder, plenty of sea salt, Himalayan salt in this case, I think I'll add a bit of pepper to this one as well, just compared to the other one. We'll add two eggs. And we're going to add two thirds of a cup of fresh milk. You could also use an alternative milk. All that gets mixed up. classic crepe mix with egg and milk and my corn flour. Now we're going to do one more classic mix. Get a bowl. But this time I'm going to use the grainier acorn that I was able to process I'm going to have to make some more because I didn't have quite half a cup, so I'll use the rest of this. I think I must hit my hips on the corner of this table about five times a day. Okay, so as you can see, it's that grainier stuff but somewhere in between flour and the state that we had it in. So there's half a cup. I have no idea if this is gonna turn out, but I'll never, I'll never know unless I try. Okay, so here are our three mixes and we're going to let them sit for about 30 minutes and then we'll come back and we'll pour them out. Crepe mix is something that you can have in the refrigerator for a few days at a time. You can keep it in a bottle and when you want to make crepes, you just shake it up and pour it out. We've got all our mixes here and we're gonna start with the classic crepe mix. Egg, milk, acorn flour, baking powder, salt, and pepper. It's really, really thickened up nicely. And uh, that'll be a good one to start with. Tools here, I'm not sure exactly what I'll need. And the wooden tools that came with this nice crepe pan, I don't seem to know where they are. So the first one will probably be a bit dodgy, but go to start somewhere. We need a ladle. Do, 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 do. So you want to make sure you really mix it around and get the thick stuff suspended when you scoop it up. And then Just 
takes practice. You don't want to touch it too soon because it'll fall apart. It needs to cook a certain amount to be able to endure any kind of movement. I'm reluctant to use metal against this because it has a Teflon finish. Mm, it smells good. It smells like mushrooms. This is just acorn. I forgot to put butter on my crepe pan. So this first one isn't going to have much fat in it. Interesting. Okay. Oh, that looks nice. Even though it didn't have fat in it, it looks really nice. So, this is the classic crepe recipe. Loving it. This is in my book, Eating Acorns. It reminds me of the breads that um, I have had at Ethiopian restaurants that have sort of a mushroomy smell and taste and texture. Okay, I'm gonna take this one off and start the next one properly with a little bit of fat, butter. Not too much, but that'll give it a lot more flavor as well. I've got it on medium setting medium high. Remember, make sure every single time you mix it up. And I'm not even half filling this ladle. Well, let's see. That's half a ladle. And that's another half ladle. This is the point where you have to move quite fast. And get it all spread out. Some recipes say that you should strain the crepe batter before you use it, but I haven't found that necessary. Wonderful. Oh my goodness. So that's three of the classic crepe recipe. Oops. We'll put those on the side. And we're going to go ahead and do the classic crepe recipe with the larger granules. Because I've got butter on this, and for the vegan recipe, I'll have to get it all cleaned up and butter free. This one is egg, milk, the granular, the more granular acorn, the finest we could get it with our, our home processor, food processor, baking powder, salt and pepper. And what I'm seeing right off the bat is that the same amount of ingredients um, make two crepes rather than three with the acorn flour, with my acorn flour. Of course, it's finer, so it goes farther. Ooh, 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 sticky. Okay, I'm gonna leave it alone until it gets crisp enough that it can withstand flipping. Oh, it just smells like it. If you've never cooked with acorns, 
especially cold processed acorns, you've, you don't know what you're missing. It smells, it's something in me at least. Like a primal memory. It's a little bit more fragile than the one done with the acorn flower, but it's completely, oh, it's warm. Yeah, it's a lot. There you go. Hmm. I don't know what to say. It's more like a pancake than a crepe. Well, these really have a very crepe-like texture and weight to them. This is a little bit more like a, like an all bran pancake or something. Oh, it's so good for breakfast. With maple syrup and cinnamon. Uh, uh. <laughs> so that's really good. We've proven today that you do not have to have a coffee mill or a spice grinder in order to use your acorn in crepes and pancakes. You just need to have one of those little multi food processors. That's exciting. Ooh, smells good. I wrapped all three types of crepes and baked them for 30 minutes in the oven with a filling and um, it was interesting to see how different they all three were. I'm really glad I did all three of these side by side to compare. Um, and I would say that the one that you can make without the coffee grinder is, is very good. It's just as good as the classic one. It's a little bit chewier, but I like that. And the vegan one is a bit of a disaster with such a heavy feeling, filling. The vegan one works out better if you have a very heavy um, iron skillet pan and the crepe is uh, quite a bit smaller. It was interesting to see how, how different the texture was than the others. The others roll up beautifully and are, are flexible, just like a crepe should be. And they taste really good, really nutty. I can't believe how good this is. I ate the first half so fast, I didn't even have time to film anything. This is the, any crepe recipe you have made with acorn flour. Oh, it's so good. Mm, mm, mm. Stuffed with mushrooms, bacon, Parmesan, cream, and spinach. Those are the the flavors that really go with acorn, as well as maple. It tastes a lot more hearty and nutty than a normal crepe. I guess the, the closest equivalent in taste would be buckwheat. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed making crepes with acorn flour. And please like and subscribe if you want me to keep posting videos like this. And until then, keep eating acorns. Mm, 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 mm. Yep, that's it. If you're still watching, go Google umami. That's what this stuff's packed with. U-M-A-M-I. <laughs>